Hi everyone, this is Dr. Perman. At this point, you should understand what gaze stabilization is and why exercising it is so important. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, watch part one of this video first. As a refresher, the purpose of gaze stability exercises are to correct the way your eyes, head, and neck all move together so that your brain can better understand where your body is in space. The basic objective of a gaze stability exercise is to lock your eyes on a target while moving your head slowly and smoothly around that target. There are two categories of gaze stability exercises. We have no-nos, where you move your head left and right like you're shaking your head no, and then we have yes-yeses, where you move your head up and down like you're nodding your head yes. Sounds simple, right? Well, there's a lot more to it than that. There are two variations of each no-no and yes-yes exercise. No-nos can also be performed in either anterior or posterior pitch with the head tilted slightly forwards or backwards, and yes-yeses can be performed in either right or left yaw with the head turned slightly to the right or slightly to the left. Your rehab specialist will help you figure out which exercises are right for you. It sounds like a lot, but it's not so bad. Let me just show you. Okay, now there are a few more details I want to touch on. Each yes, yes, or no, no exercise consists of up to nine repetitions. You will use this dot pattern to complete the exercise. For each repetition, you'll stare at a different dot. The order goes like this. Begin your first rep by staring at the center dot. For the second rep, you stare at the left dot. The third rep, you're looking back at the center dot. The fourth rep, you look at the right dot. The fifth rep is back in the center. The sixth rep is at the top dot the seventh rep in the center, eighth rep down low, and the ninth and final rep is back at the center dot. If you want the maximum benefit, we recommend that you perform these exercises about three to four times a day with about two to three hours between sessions. If any of these symptoms come on during your exercises, stop immediately and rest. Just try again at your next daily session. Watch out though, sometimes these symptoms might hit you minutes or even hours later. If you experience symptoms immediately after starting, you aren't ready for these exercises. See a specialist for more help. Improving gaze stability is typically one of the first steps in our rehab programs. There are a number of more challenging variations to gaze stability exercises, and as you progress, your practitioner will be able to push your brain harder and harder. If you're experiencing symptoms and haven't been given any answers, please reach out to us so that we can help you find the help that you deserve. Thanks again for watching. This is Dr. Perman and we'll see you next time.